Hey everybody, welcome back to my uh, YouTube channel. And uh, I have a big surprise for everybody. I recently upgraded from the Focal Chore 826s to the Focal Cante 2s, which by the way, I'm going to reveal in a minute. And by doing so, we'll see if we can guess that color. Well, obviously you don't know that color, but anyway, when I first got these Cante 2s, they were, believe it or not, right now on back order for eight weeks or more. That's what my local dealer told me. So I had to settle for another finish that I wanted. So basically the Cahara white, all white finish is on back order when you're watching this at, at this day for eight weeks or more, which I paid in full price uh, about a week or so ago. And when it comes to audio, I'm impatient and I'm not going to wait eight weeks or more. So my local dealer had the other color that I wanted and I settled that for that. And uh, sorry for, I'm usually unboxing the video, but when I got these, I was just so excited. So I'll try to pretend to be excited again when I take these off and unreal uh, what colors we have. All right. Ta-da! So we got the piano gloss, white finish, and the black around the sides. And I'll get the camera and show you. And these things are amazing. And on the top, I didn't realize it was a black. Well, obviously black. Excuse me, it's still early in the morning. Um, glass, I meant to say, glass top. Which is very, very nice. And you got the mid-range driver. I'm sure everybody that knows about the Focal Cante 2s know about the Quali and the Berlium Tweeter. And this is just for my other viewers that are subscribed to my channel. And you got two six and a half flat cones. And then we have the spikes. Now I haven't listened to these yet. So give me time and I will put demos up. So as we go around to the back, you got your terminals here, which I'll be using Audio Quest Type 4 cables. And I'm not sure if you could tell on the phone, which you probably can't. There's actually like little white sparkles in the paint, but from what I'm seeing, I just see my reflection. So the video really doesn't do justice, but the whole back obviously is piano gloss and the size as well is piano gloss. Let's step back and try to get the whole picture here. Now, obviously this is pointed out in the middle of the living room for video demo. Just look at that. God, it's so damn gorgeous. And these are so dense too, when you do the knock test. No hollow sound whatsoever. Love the white. Like I said, I was going to get the white and all white, but I wasn't waiting eight weeks or more. My dealer told me that all the cantes are on back order, and most of it has to do with the pandemic. Oh. What could that be? 
Oh, let's see. The second one, obviously. Now, I, I always leave my grills off. That's just showing you what it looks like with the grills on, or the Kante 2s. And these are obviously, they're magnetic. So you just, they just snap right on. Same with the, the other cover with the two drivers. I like the look of them without them on. They look stylish. Then that's how far I have it back from the wall. And so I moved my surround sounds, which by the way, were the Focal Chore A26s that I had in the front. Now I'm using them for surround sounds. That's the left side and the right side over there. And of course, I had the ice acoustic Gaia 3s, which by the way, I was going to try to put the Gaia 3s on the Kante 2, but the Kante 2s weigh 77 pounds, and seven pounds over is way too much, so when that's not going to happen anytime soon. I will be sticking with the spikes on the floor. So extra precaution without getting any holes in our wooden floor. And for other people that are first watching this, what I'm powering the Kante 2s is the Marantz 75.5 amplifier. And then we have the Marantz SR6013 coin with the AC Infinity T10. And as for my subs, I had these for two years now, but the only time I listen to the subs are obviously with movies. Even music, I only run 2.0. Even when I had the chore, 826 was 2.0. And then over here we have the Marantz TT15S1 with the MoFi Heavyweight and uh, Clear Audio Charisma V2 cartridge. And uh, obviously the Chora Center, which is, I'm sticking with the Chora Center. Then the all famous OPPO 203. Then we have the, the Panamax M5300 power and everything. And I also had the SVS sound paths on the Fluons DB12s, which help. Then the Harmony Elite remote. And there's the Type 4 audio quest cables and, and the Samsung 65 inch Q8FN QLAN, which I love so much. And if we pan back here and get the whole shot without bumping it to the couch, I have the SVS Atmos Prime Elevations. Now I'm going to place the left speaker back and uh, hopefully it doesn't cut off or I'll have to make two separate videos. So there we have it folks. It's all set up for movie theater and music listening. And it went pretty well. It was easy to hook up. I'll give you another shot of everything and see how far everything is spaced out here. I'd say at least it's spaced out uh, four inches from the wall. 
but man, these things sound, well, I was going to say, look beautiful. Obviously, I haven't listened to them yet, but I will be doing plenty of that and get back to you with a full review. Um, when I got these, I obviously, I didn't get the, I'm waiting on my accessories for the plates underneath. Our floors are very old anyway, but I tried my best not to get holes in the floor. Happy wife, happy life, so they say. So, in a nutshell, that is my, uh, the Focal Cante 2s, and I, my God, I cannot wait to listen to these and crank them up and give you sound demos and get back to reality and do some more vinyl demos and things like that. And you know, one last shot of the Focal Chore 826 around sounds. So that is a wrap. I'll stop talking now and uh, let me know what you all think of the my new uh, setup. I'm really happy about it. I was actually more excited yesterday and I apologize that I didn't uh, bring them home and do a video right away, but I needed some sleep and to have time to set these up. All right. You guys take care.